It is the fourth day of April 2018. You are watching New Vision TV news around Uganda. Here we look at stories making headlines across the country. I am your host, Ruth Nasegye. So let's kick start off the this bulletin from Jinja District. The construction of the $12.8 billion standard gauge railway has been delayed due to land conflicts in some of the areas. SGR's head of public public relations and corporate affairs, Diana Apio, said the Malaba Kampala 273 kilometer section of the project had partly been delayed due to lots of challenges. She cited multiple allocations of land titles, especially in Jinja and Kampala, saying these had undermined the process of land acquisition. A PO said such practices resulted in multiple claimants of land, leading to fights among residents. She said in Jinja, such practices were evidenced in Mafuvira sub county and in Pumude Chimaka division. Such anomalies are said to have occurred at a time when Ginger District did not have a land board for two years. We move on to Kagadi District. At least 20 suspected cases have been reported in Chitavere landing site on the shores of Lake Albert in Indaiga sub county Kagadi District. Dr. James Olo, the district health officer, told New Vision that four cases were reported on Thursday, but by Monday evening a number had gone to 20. Alo said on Friday the samples were taken to the government central public health laboratories in Wandege Kampala for testing. However, as a precaution, the district healthy team did a rapid diagnostic test on Monday and out of the three samples picked from members of one family, one tested positive to Corella. Olo said all the cases were being managed in the homes of the, of the infected, but an isolation unit had been set up to avoid further spread of the disease. Silvano Tembo, the district disease surveillance focal person, said a church had accepted to offer space to set up an isolation unit in Chitebere, where all the cases would be managed to prevent further spread. Okay, before we move on to other stories making headlines across the country, let us look at what is making headlines in today's copy of the New Vision. And the headlining story today is Museven moves to sort taxi fees. Also in the new vision, remains of UPDF soldiers returned home. Uh, more headlines, uh, world mourns win Mandela. We have all those details into this copy of the new vision. Remember, the copy of the new vision is only 2,000 shillings. Yeah, every Wednesday we have the Mwalimo pullout. And the st headlining story is more than a decade after has Sesemati delivered. Wondering what Sesamati is? Get your copy of the New Vision. Uh, you'll find the Mwalimo pullout. Also, in the New Vision, we have newspapers in education. And we have the headlining stories, Help the Disadvantaged. Get these stories in your copy of the New Vision. And also, still offering the best, we have the Toto Magazine. The Toto Magazine comes out every Wednesday in your copy of the New Vision. And we have children telling us the experiences in new classes so get your copy and find the magazine in the paper today yeah from the sports docket we have welcome sipla join ryan and dstv set for wc so many stories from the sports docket so get your copy at only two thousand shillings and remember we are the leading daily Away from your copy of the New Vision, let's look at what is making headlines across the country and we go to Tor Toronto District. Now leaders of the district have decried the high cases of absenteeism and dropouts in primary schools. The district education officer Maureen Casemirera made the remarks on Friday during a stakeholders meeting in Kanara landing site Kanara Town Council in Toronto. The meeting was organized by the Forum for African Women Education's Uganda chapter to address challenges facing the education sector in, in Toronto district. She said in Toronto Primary School enrolled 700 pupils, but only half turned up for the first term. 
Finally, from Bunyangabo district, residents are living in fear after a suspected religious cult opened a large base in Kasunga Nyanza district, Chibito sub-county. The suspected cult with over 15,000 followers in the sub-counties of Kabito, Kasenda, Rugenda Bara and Brimi have been recruiting members from within the area. The suspected cult is said to outlaw modern lifestyles such as owning mobile phones. Residents say the cult members do not believe in the Bible and they wear only white garments. The leader is only known as Mwanguhe. They are, however, afraid that they may witness what Chibwetele did in Kanungo in 2000. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.eug. I am Rathi Naseje.